All right, here we have the DIY build it yourself little FPV quadcopter. So let's build it. First thing we need to do is uh, find out which motors and which propellers are gonna go together because it is the issue of clockwise and counterclockwise. So if you read your user manual that's uh, on C because I got the 5.8 GHz version. So in the user manual it says motors with red and blue wire is inserted into the fan blades of A2. All right and the motor of the black and white with the B2. So let's find, this is the propeller B2 and B1, A1, B1, A2, all right? So motors with red and blue will get A2, all right? So here we go. And push all the way down because these kinds of motors and these kind of propellers tend to come off during flight and the motor with black and red sorry black and white cable are gonna get the B2 which I put here so this is B2 all right and I'm gonna put it on okay now two motors are ready now fit the camera into the camera fixing thingy all right so take this off the camera cap and fit the camera into the camera thing which should be probably like this yes because i'm gonna have this button here to change our channels okay so let me just try to be nice to this one and push it in okay there we go there we go push more in nice and good all right so the camera system is ready so once these two motors are prepared you are still wondering what to do with the other two motors and are they gonna get the B1 and A2 propellers or not? Well, it's all about being clockwise and counterclockwise. So first we're gonna post, put these motors in and then we'll talk about the other motors. All right, so we're gonna insert the board now, all right? This is the board. Now I need to figure out which way is forward. All right, antenna, rubs. Um, I don't see any forward sign on this. So, we're gonna take a chance accordingly and put it just like this. Okay, spread this cable around. Put it here. Now, unfortunately, this piece that I have to put up, I was just trying it and got locked and broke one of these uh, locks here. So, I will have no choice but to, you know, fix it permanently. So first thing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find out if the motors are gonna spin the right way. Okay, so let's try to do it. First we're gonna insert this motor and this is gonna spin inward. Okay, accordingly. And we're gonna put it inside. The instructions are really terrible. Okay, there we go. One motor is fixed, and I'm gonna fix this connector. Okay, good. And we're gonna slide this cable down here. So the access cable is slide down this area. Okay, and I'll keep it here for now. Now comes the black and white motor. Okay, so we're gonna insert this connector. And 
and insert this motor making sure the cables stay right in this angle motor goes all the way down so far so good two are installed now accordingly I will say this is spinning inside and this is a spinning inside this is clockwise counterclockwise so this one will be counterclockwise which is motor black and white cable and counterclockwise is the propeller B2 alright so I'm gonna go with the B2 this time I'm getting a little smart I slide the cable first before installing the connector Okay, motor down there and the connector is going to go in here. Remember, this is a 3D printed board, so don't stress it out too much because you will actually break the arms. Okay, all motors good. The last motor and the last propeller, of course, has to be clockwise. So slide the cables in fix the motor in push it all the way down and install the connector okay now that it's installed, before pulling, putting that on, I'll pull this cable. This cable is going to power your video transmitter. So after that, I'll just put it like in the center here somewhere. So we don't squeeze the cables. And everything is locked in position. Now of course this lock is broken, so I'm worried about that. What I'm going to do is probably use some um, double-sided tape to tie it down there okay now I'm not sure which way is forward <laughs> and mount it the other way around okay and the angle is adjustable wow if I keep the angle like that, I'll be flying this thing like that. Maybe I can keep the angle like this. It will be super fast. Anyway, all right, so I'll see the angles later. First, I will have to make sure this thing stays in position because I have broken the lock there. See, this is extremely fragile, extremely fragile. Anyway, so I'll just take this thing from the back side now and connect this to camera red to red black white to white okay done now i will have to seat it somewhere down all right now so we will power it on and bring the radio closer to us and see how it works the radio is here quadcopter is here now I'm gonna power the quadcopter okay put the camera here and uh, let's power and hope nothing goes wrong one two three go video transmitter is on quadcopter is on turn the radio on it's trying to bind okay Make sure your fingers are clear from propellers. Now, it's armed. Okay. And holding it here, I'll check. Okay, all propellers are spinning in right direction. Good. All right, so now let me fix everything and let's fly it. Is it still flying? Running out of battery. 